What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I will be showing you how to get the Stormwind Guard Armor Transmog Kit, the updated one, um, kind of the one that you see on all your guards uh, for Stormwind and the Alliance. So what you're going to do is come on over to the Iron Docks in Warlord of Draenor and you will just essentially be pulling all the mobs to farm for the Iron Scrap. So I did go and do a couple of test runs to see what was most efficient. The way that I'm showing you is going to be the most efficient way to do it. So you will just pretty much gather all these little mobs, all the little adds, bring them up to the first boss, which is up there on the ward, or the wolf, I should say. Um, you will just kind of, yeah, like I said, just gather them all up, and then you're just going to AoE them down. So if you have a better mobility class, um, it's really easy to do. But the nice thing about Iron Docks is you can use a mount. So I also recommend just grabbing these little mobs up here in the corner as well. They just, just for that chance to add a little bit more chance to get the iron scrap. Once you go ahead and gather them all together... You can start AOing them down, and then go ahead and loot the whole group. So as you can see here, I'm about to start the farming process. And right there, those little iron scrap things that you saw is what you are looking for. Or iron horde scraps. Then once you uh, go ahead and farm those guys, go ahead and move over to the next group of mobs. Uh, it's also a good chance to get some transmog stuff as well while you're here from WAD if you didn't really do much WAD. I hit pretty much max level and then stopped playing. Um, so it's kind of nice to get, go through and get some of these uh, transmogs. This isn't just any Gron. This is Skalak, son of Gru. The blood of a champion courses through his veins. I'm not concerned with these paltry whelps. Yes, sir. All right, so um, like I said, I did a couple of test runs. I did pretty much up to here, and then I did the whole dungeon. I found it way more efficient to just grab these mobs and the ones earlier, AOE them all down, run back out, and restart the uh, the dungeon. And obviously, you can do it ten times in an hour. Um, and I was getting around one. 30 to 150 so that's all pretty much all the amount that you'll need for the uh the entire set i think the total set's like 180 to 220 once you go ahead and get those scraps you're gonna head on back yeah like i said you'll head on back to the garrison once you are at the garrison you're gonna head on over to i believe it's the armory or the blacksmith So it's this building here that is called the uh, the Dwarven Bunker. I was completely wrong. So you're going to go over to the Quartermaster. And you're going to have... You're also going to get these little uh, items. The pauldrons, the belt, and the helmet. So those will actually create specific pieces oh, within the set. So as you can see here, it costs 50 for most of them. And then 80 for a couple of them. And then you also need those scraps. And as you can see there, you get the Stormwind Guard Transmog set. Um, you can also get the shield, but since I'm running a Death Knight, um, I can't run it. So I'm going to have to do this again on like a Paladin or a Warrior. And I had to do this twice. So in total, I had to do two runs total. Um, or two hours worth, I should say. I spread it over two days, uh, made it a lot easier and less repetitive. Uh, but then you also get a bunch of, you know, trash that you can sell, make a decent penny as well. And you also get some cool transmogs that you missed during uh, Warlords of Drainer if you did not do that expansion. But, as I said, that is the quickest, pretty easy way to get the, like, updated version of the Stormwind's Guard transmog set, especially if you're into the whole, you know, playing Alliance character. Um, really enjoy it. It's a really nice looking set, especially with some newer weapons. You can really make, like, a full-out Alliance set, and it's a just really awesome little thing that some people miss that are especially skipped WAD or has played after WAD. 
So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. It helps the channel out a ton. And I will see you guys in the next one.